And Seth Joyner, we saw him. The best was Joe with Cataldi at the breaks. Like, you know this is all just a shtick. Yeah, well, Cataldi, Cataldi, <laughs> will, be, Cataldi will be on with us tomorrow. He's not even an Eagles fan. He admitted that on our show. But he fooled all these dummies in Philadelphia. And as we've listened to Chuck and Philly and a lot of these guys and we see their tweets, we're starting to learn that they're not the smartest guys in the room. They're not the brightest light bulbs. Well, I threw a Lincoln log on it this morning going at them well, just to have good. some fun. Well, no, forget fun. It's personal this week with these guys. <laughs> hey, you know, and so this little fella, this little guy in John Marks, I don't even know who he is, has interjected himself into the conversation. We don't even know who he is. But then I looked and I said, you know what, this guy maybe doesn't get enough attention at home. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. I get he works with Ike Reese so he doesn't get any shine time. So he wanted to interject himself into the rivalry, into the beef, and he clips all these videos of Niner fans fighting fans at in and outs and stadiums. And look, man, I don't condone stadium fighting at all. But some people need to get popped in the mouth for talking that talk. And a lot of people in Philadelphia, for what they said, needed to be popped in the mouth. So I guess it's cool to just stick middle fingers at people and throw beer at people. But John Marks doesn't even know the story. He's twisted the story in 15 different directions. So let's just clear it up. And talk to this guy today because I'm not playing around. The little fella from Dust Sports Radio 94 WIP. Good morning, man. Good morning, John. How are you guys? Oh, I'm doing great. Hey, John, John, honestly, what's with all like the insecure energy online coming at us? It's pretty interesting. What's up with the insecure energy? Yeah. No, it, it, it well, I mean, you know what happened at the NFC Championship game, how you guys reacted to it last year. You made it sound like the bad fan behavior was exclusive to Philadelphia. I'm more or less pointing out with all of these fights that are happening in San Francisco that it's not exclusive to Philadelphia, which is what you guys were talking about when you guys were butthurt oh, after you lost the well, NFC Championship Well, no, game. that's not what happened. That's not what happened. So let's, let's start happened? from scratch. Let's start from scratch. Joe DeCamera, the bubble bath boy, because obviously you guys think we're a bunch of punks out here. And I love to see you guys come out here and talk that talk. But that's, you know, and, but we're not going to condone violence. But anyway. You should be you, able to go to a sports no, no, game no, and but not no, get no, things Hold on, Chasky. This Come is on. how it started. What are we doing? This is how it started. Joe DeCamera said, are you guys going to wear your gear out here? And I said, why wouldn't we? We're going to a football game. Well, you, you know what DeCamera told us, John? He said, I don't want you guys to die. Huh? Die? For going to yeah, a football we, game? We, we, listened, we, we played the audio yesterday of what he said. You know what else you did? Fonte? I told everybody where I was sitting. Right. So what was the point of doing that? You know why? Because I was at the Rich Carlton Hotel sitting in my seats. When I was in my seats at the link, and this is where Ike Grease got it wrong, and I don't know if he got hit in the head too many times, but th- nobody ever said we got bothered at our seats. Your fans were taking selfies with us. Your fans are like, oh, my God, you're a radio guys from San Francisco. You guys are gangsters. You lit up the airways. We hadn't had shows like this in years. Nobody bothered us at our seats. It was Not going one person. into the game. People throwing things from the parking lot. We have videos, 7 million views on just one platform. People firing beers from across the parking lot, firing hot dogs, ketchup. I had to put the phone in my pocket so that I don't catch a beer off the face. That's low level. And then my no, point but, was, but, but, which you guys put the sound. Of course I'll, let you, I'll let you rebuttal. I'll let you rebuttal. But my point was, hey, look, I don't care what fan base you are. You should be able to go to a game. If you're like going looking for trouble, no. you'll find it anywhere you don't, you in America. You don't tell somebody you're going to Die well, by come wearing on. Your jersey. And you guys, so I let you know where I sat. I let you know where I sat, and nothing you, happened. Where I you sat, guys, right? I know, but you're so you went into Lincoln Financial Field feeling a certain way, right? Like you instigated, or you were trying to instigate Eagles fans we by giving your anything. section, your row, no. and your seat number out in the air. I let you speak. Please let me speak, okay? If I was, if it's I was my show, not to yours. Be, it's <laughs> my show, not yours. Right, I know, but I'm not going to. But I'm not going to let you talk but, over me. No, after but, I but you, you guys, keep you keep going down the wrong. Let him train. go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Like, like guys, let me talk seriously. If I was coming to the NFC Championship game in San Francisco, and I went on ninety five seven the game and told everyone where I was sitting and had my Eagles gear on and screw you Niners fans and gave my exact location, do you know what I would expect? I would expect to be given a hard time. Do I think that it's fair or nice or it should happen that they threw hot dogs at you or threw beers at you? No, of course not. I'm pointing out that this happens all over the NFL, and this isn't exclusive to Philadelphia. This is an NFL problem. And frankly, guys, if you want to talk about fan reputation, the San Francisco fan reputation is violent. 
Philadelphia Eagle fan reputation maybe is an idiot reputation, and I'm sorry you got a hot dog thrown at you, Joe. But like, talk, worry about your own reputation. Well, Look no, but, around but, the but NFL John, here's the problem. Well, no, John, now okay, I let you talk. Point. Now it's my you're turn. Missing here's the, the point. You're missing it, the boat completely. It's the media, you guys. The next day we walk in there, we explain, walking into the link, what the experience was, and it's, ah, oh, that's just Philly fans. That's just Philly fans. You file that under passion, and I file that under thuggery. And again, whether it's a Niner fan doing that, a Cowboy fan, an Eagle fan, that's low-life behavior. Then you took a 10-second clip from a 20-minute conversation, you went crazy on it, and then you went online, and you kept tagging us over and over and over again. To me, it was weasel behavior. Then I hit up Joe Giglio. I say, yo, call me back. I want old boy's number. And I got crickets back from you guys. If you want to be tough on the internet, that's my, one thing. You wanted my it's number? One thing. Yes, I did. Because I thought, I thought your, your behavior director, was weasel. Who was my boss for 10 years. Well, hold, John, John, again, <laughs> you're missing the point. If somebody, we would not tell you, hey, are you going to wear your gear? You're going to die. That's where it all started from. Why don't you guys take accountability? Exactly. I know you guys don't know how to do that on the exactly. East Coast. But that's what it is. Take accountability. You yeah, can't you tell two soft. guys from San Francisco. You can't tell. No, we weren't soft because I told you where I was sitting. And where I sat, nothing happened, John. Not one of you fans laid a damn finger on me when I sat in my seat. Now, and now, not I'll get say this. stuff thrown I'll at you. I'll say this, Come John. On, what, what I thought was you funny. You got two little girls on your photo on Twitter. Three. And you're going to come at three. Excuse me, three. I don't mean to disrespect your family. But come on. You should be able to go to a sports sports game and not have this is not prison Again. this is not warfare real this is sports Joe, for Christ's sake I've been to Giants Dodgers games I've been to Cowboy games you should let be talk. able to go let without being let physically assaulted we agree we agree I agree 100% I'm not disputing that. See, that's why I'm saying, like, you guys don't get it. I'm not disputing that you we were don't treated get poorly it. at some point in Lincoln Financial Field. What I'm saying is that's not exclusive to Philadelphia. Okay, it's I not. understand that. No, you know what's exclusive to Philadelphia? It's when you use the bathroom, and I'm getting called homophobic slurs, and I'm sitting there thinking, boy, the player play announcer for the Sixers, who we used to work with, Kate Scott, is part of the LGBT movement, and you're calling me a homophobic slur, telling me to do things that are homophobic, and I was like, that's what happens in football games in Philadelphia? Like, I would have been well within my right to slap the hell out of one of you guys. Unacceptable behavior. Exactly. Just like a fan getting stabbed or a fan getting shot or a fan getting killed in San Francisco or a fan getting beat up. Like, I mean, give me a break with, with, with the track record. You have your own reputation. No, but we're the, not but doing comparative shopping. No, we're not, we're not doing, doing comparative shopping. shopping. But you do, you do understand yes. why I gave out my section number. You're one of your hosts said I was going to die for wearing my 49ers jersey. And I'm and, 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 him. Come on. take it up with him. Well, well, I, mean, you, you I, got, I don't know. If what you're going to interject yourself in the conversation, look, know the facts. You don't know the facts. You and I, Greasy, I were spitting about non factual stuff. Know the facts, dude. What, what did we spit? What was the non factual stuff that we spit? That we got hit, that we were getting beat up at our seats and getting thrown at. Nothing happened to our seats. I told you where I was sitting, and guys are like, can we get a selfie? I, I mean, it's it's frankly irrelevant to the conversation of, of hey, what we're Hey, John, talking. John, John, keep it real. You tried to tag us to get a little clown Philly to feel good for yourself, didn't you? Huh, a little boost to the ego? No, I, I didn't. Keep it, it a hundo. Because I, I thought you guys were weasels and soft because no. you were trying to say that, that that the Eagles and what Eagles fans do is exclusive and we're the bad people and you guys are well, You great. guys are a joke of a fan base. I mean, you guys are not not smart fans. We've We've, we've learned that over the last season. Well, I mean, in talking about this cloud thing or whatever, Marks and Reese has had the top-rated show in Philadelphia in afternoons for a long time now. And, Mike, you know, I'm, Mike, I'm not Mike I'm not speak about your Mike clouding your ratings. Mike Misnelli has retired. That's why. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know why? You know why? Go back and look at the ratings, dude, because because we beat him in the retirement. Oh, All right? Goodness. And I know, I know what your ratings are, bro. Hey, All right? Man. Hey. You want me to want me to repeat them right now in yeah, your show? Yeah, we, we know what the ratings are. We know what the ratings are. We know who's no, yeah. we know who the number one sports show in San Francisco is in the mornings. John, we know. John, we know. Hey John, John, we know. John, not what I just read. We know. We you know. Read whatever you want. Hey, John, read between these lines. Tell me why you think the Niners are going to lose on Sunday. Now I want to get into the actual meat and potatoes. Oh, there's the game that we're going to talk about here. Um, I, I mean, the, I mean, unless the, you want to tag us in more videos. No, I mean, why? But let me ask you a question, Joe. Why are you so upset that I tagged you in? Because video? because the funny part is, is that you took a 10 second clip, your station, from a 20 minute conversation that was completely misconstrued, and I went on. I called Joe the next day, him and Hugh Douglas, and I love Hugh, and I went on there and I explained the whole thing. I said, "Hey, man, we are not going to war. We're going to a sports game for Christ's sake." 
But Listen, we all know that. Like, I know, like, but but then we what happens that. is we by the that. media, and this is my big issue, because I'm lucky to have one of these seats, and you know this. You know how many people are dying to have one of these seats? The last thing you can do is, that's just Niner fans. That's just Philly fans. You can't condone these things, and you can't file it under passion. When people act a fool, you got to say, that's dumb. You don't do that. I mean, that's all. It's called common decency. So when you tag us in everything, you're perpetuating it, and it's it's low level. Uh, well, I'm sorry I tagged you on on uh, on Twitter. It was Joe. about 15 of them. Yeah, that's right. I way. know, I know, because I was pointing out how, how there's there's fan behave bad fan behavior all over the NFL, just like you were saying happens in Philadelphia. So I was pointing it out. I you obviously feel a certain way about it. I do. I kind of want to see you. I mean, that's the one later. thing I want to I mean, do. you've called us soft Quite and frankly, on the show, and I'm guarantee you, we get back to all. I this walked into that station. That I didn't see yeah. you there. Because yeah, I don't work mornings. Yeah. Well. <laughs> all right. So you asked about you know where to find me. If you, we asked about the game. Um, so I, I think it's going to be a close game. The 49ers are a very good team. But I will say this about the 49ers. Uh, you guys have feasted on mediocre quarterback play all year long. If you look at the quarterbacks that the Niners have beaten, Kenny Pickett, Matt Stafford, Daniel Jones, Josh Dobbs, Baker Mayfield, Geno Smith, Dak Prescott, a, an absolute blowout win, and then Trevor Lawrence, you smoked Trevor Lawrence. But for the most part, you're feasting on bad quarterback play. Um, and... You know, like I, I'm, I'm curious to see what you, what, you're, what the Niners are going to look like on the road against a very good Philadelphia Eagles team and Jalen Hurts. Quite frankly, and I, I'm looking at it from a Niner perspective, it means more to the Niners, Niner fans, than it does the Eagles. You got got a, a two game cushion. You can lose this game; it doesn't matter. You could still win the number one seed. We'd have to go back there in January. I mean, if the Niners lose this one, you guys aren't tripping off us at all, huh? Um, I, I mean, I, I would agree and disagree. It, it, it reminds me a lot of the Eagles going to Kansas City. For sure, that game meant more to the Eagles than it did to the Chiefs, right? The Chiefs just won the Super Bowl. They're not looking at this game, at the Eagles game, being like, oh, man, we got to beat them. No, they won the Super Bowl. So I think it did mean more to the Eagles. And I think this game means more to the Bay Area and, and to the 49ers. One thing, though, if, if the Eagles lose to, to the Niners on Sunday, then the following Sunday night football is the Cowboys. And the Cowboys aren't that far behind the Eagles, and they've had a very easy schedule. So if you drop it to the Niners, there's so much pressure now to where now you have the Cowboys, and then you have to travel to Seattle the following week. So you don't look out, and you lose this game to San Francisco. Now you're staring the Cowboys, not staring at the Cowboys on the road, and that is a very, very tough game. So I, can you, if, 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 if you're going to lose a game, if you could pick between the two, I'd rather lose this week. But you lose this week, now you're under a lot of pressure to win next week. Well, what's the perception of Brock Purdy out there? Um, I think before the season it was game manager, he's a scrub, he's not all that good. <laughs> At least we thought that now, too. Yeah, with me now, I, I mean, and the NFC's down as far as quarterbacks, but he can beat you. I'd like to see him on the road come from behind. Um, I don't know if he's a front-running quarterback and he plays better with a lead and the team plays better with a lead. But I want to see Brock Purdy, if the running game's not working, on the road from behind, lead his team from behind to win the game. But, I mean, listen, Brock Purdy, Kyle Shanahan's looking for someone to run his offense, and Brock Purdy's been doing it as efficiently as anybody I've seen. What do you what? think of us now, John Mark? No, no, no. I, no, let's laugh a little. Let's laugh a little. Thank no, no, you for no, coming no, on. No, no, I'm no, actually no, having fun this. No, no, no. This I'm not fun. laughing. No, no, how no, many no, hours no, of content have the two of us provided sports in Philadelphia at WIP. Keep it real, though, because it is fun. I love you guys. That's why I, I, I hate you guys, but I love you guys because <laughs> I, I love yeah. the back and forth. I love the radio nonsense. You think you think we're clowns? I, 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 think that, I think that the way that you reacted last year after the loss was how fans react after they've had their heart broken. And that's how you were acting last year was your heart was broken and you were in Philadelphia and you never no. expected to have to do that show in Philadelphia after the no. Niners lost. You know, John, I'll say this from my perspective, and I'll speak for myself here. I was just, because Shasky was standing next to me, and anyway, I did the video going into the tailgate, and I'm just like, hey, man, what part of Camden are you from? And I didn't know what that really meant. I feel bad I was for my just, guy. Well, no, 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 it, it was fine. I, I, I've, I've been in sporting events. I can hold my own. I, I went to Dallas by myself. It's, it's not a big deal. I like trash talk. But when it got personal from that fan base, that's what had me a little disheveled there. I was like, man, I got called every name in the book. It had nothing to do with the game. You want to talk trash? Say, hey, the Niners are overrated. Hey, this is blah. That's where I came from. And I was like, man, screw this city. Screw that. You guys are calling it passion. So hopefully you can understand that. Yeah, I guess I do. I mean, I mean like, 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 listen, we're doing sports. 
We love sports. You guys came in here. You weren't treated. You weren't treated as you thought maybe you're going to be treated. Your team lost. You I, I left. Didn't, I didn't care how I was treated. I was just like, man, you call me hobo for slurs, and then you re- you realize why people get beat up in stadiums. So, a lot of these fights start by people calling people names, and not everybody can handle that stuff. Not everybody can handle it. Well, I'm glad maybe we're friends now. We don't have to fight. I anymore. don't know about friends. I don't know frenemies. About that. I- I'm gonna. I'm still gonna tag you guys in any video. That I, I well, see. I know that. I mean, you need the clout. And you need some of the content. But la- last thing on the way out the door. So when we come back in January, okay? When we come back in January, should I stay on broad? What do, what do you think? Because that's where we stayed last time. And I gotta admit, standing from the the top floor looking down at the parade, I was very jealous. Um, no, stay at the airport. Stay at one of the. Stay one one of like the. Uh, the, the the disgusting airport hotels. Well, That's I did like Ishka I'm, nah, not gonna I'm lie. going back to Broad Street. It was Street. my kind of town. I'm I enjoy Broad Street. The food was nah, good. I enjoy Broad Street. I wanted to wear that. I wanted to feel that pain. This because I knew dope. two weeks later, you guys are going to feel the same pain that we felt January 29th. Yeah, and you guys did your eagle chant that, that next day. And you guys did that hurt? That. Did that hurt? No, it didn't hurt. It was cute. It was cute. You guys did a... It wasn't a good job, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Right, I got to say, my favorite part of the whole trip right. was this when is... Christian McCaffrey, with our backup, backup, backup quarterback, scored a touchdown and tied the game 7-7. And me and my guy stood up in a dead, silent Lincoln financial field. We had about six seconds of hope, and that was it. That was my favorite part of the whole trip. All right, so if you're coming back to a game, just wear, a, wear an adult diaper so you don't have to go to the bathroom in your... Uh, no, I'll be in the bathroom. I'll, I'll be back. Well, here's the part back. that sucks. I, and not, here's the part I, that be, I find no, easily. Homo, be- As I'm walking out of this, you know, you're walking out because we're in the lower section. We got good seats. It was great. My boy B hooked it up. As I'm coming out and you got the rafters or whatever, there's like a tunnel you got to go underneath it. The people from up above are just rifling stuff down on us. I hate that. That's the weak stuff that I'm talking about. When you're in the stadium, people are spitting from no, three or no, four. But no, but nobody. I didn't, I didn't. I felt I had very. That. I was very safe at the seats. Like I said, I felt like I was staying Coming at the out? park. I, I felt like I was at the Park Hotel in New York City or something. Like I, I swear to God, when in my seats, it was fine. I, I had no problem. To, and, the, and the stadium itself, the sight lines is awesome. I was like, this is great. It's all the other stuff. The stadium is nice. Whatever. We're past it. We're past it. John, have a good day. All right, you too, guys. That interview sucked. We just wasted our time. <laughs>